Praise the Lord. And Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus also said, if you love me, obey my commandments. Are you obeying his commandments today? Oh, many are called, but few are chosen. May Jesus bless you, sir. May Jesus bless y'all. Oh, we'll find out real quick on Judgment Day. Who's going in to heaven? Who's going into the kingdom? Oh, many Americans, selfish Americans, at that, like to say, oh, I go to church, I'm a good person. But do you read the Bible? Do you know the Bible? The Bible says that, oh, man, in that day, many will say, oh, Lord, Lord, haven't we cast out demons and prophesied in your name? And then I will say unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, worker of iniquity. Oh, don't be a selfish American. Be a born again, Holy Ghost filled Christian, man of God, man of woman. Man of God, woman of God. I mean, amen. We got to go by the Bible. Now what the preacher says. Don't go by what I say. I'm preaching the Bible. I'm not twisting it. I'm not putting in any more words. I'm not saying, oh, if you have an offering, donation, please put it in the basket. I'm not asking for money. What good is money? It burns up. It's no good. Basura, trash. How much is your soul? The Bible says, what shall it gain a man to inherit the whole world but lose his own soul? I said, what shall it gain for a man to inherit the whole world but lose his own soul? Oh, people want to go to church and live like Hollywood. No, it does not work like that. The Bible says, that Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. We got to wake up. We got to wake up, America. Stop living in sin. Yes, God loves you, but he's a holy God, a righteous God. He does not want you to be go drinking, sleeping around on a marriage, thinking impure thoughts. When we die, we got to go over all our lives, the whole life of you and I. Everyone's lives is being recorded. It's going to play out like a movie, like a movie before our eyes. That time you did that behind closed doors will be revealed. That thought, those thoughts where you were thinking that one time will be revealed. The Bible says it is appointed for man to die once and then the judgment, heaven or hell. The Bible says that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. People wanna say Jesus was a prophet. Okay, if he was a prophet, why don't you believe every word he said? Jesus said, I and my father are one. Jesus also said, before Abraham was, I am. Oh. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 3. Let's turn to it. 2 Timothy 3. This know also that in the last days, in the last days, perilous times will come. For men shall be lovers of themselves. Men shall be lovers of themselves. Boasters, proud, covetous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, Despisers of those that are good. 
Traders, heady, high-minded. Love is a pleasure rather than lovers of God. What do we see today? Everybody taking selfies, pictures of themselves over and over and over, and you call yourself a Christian. I don't think so. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. Denying its power. From such turn away. We see that today in America, around the world, but especially here in the States. Selfish Americans, selfish Americans, always in a hurry to go nowhere, not thinking about one another. Oh, and you call yourself Christian. No, you're not born again. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. We have to be born again. We have to repent, turn away from our sins, live holy, live righteously, live right unto the Lord Jesus. Repent from your sin and live holy. We're living in the last days. I said we're living in the last days. It's pretty obvious by now. Oh, we got to we got to repent. The Bible says in Luke 6:20 And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, "Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God." Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice, rejoice you in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich. Woe unto you that are rich. For you have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full. For you shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. But I say unto you which hear, I say unto you which hear, love your enemies. Love your enemies. And do good to them which hate you. Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you and unto him that smites thee on the one cheek offer also the other and him that takes away that cloak forbid him not to take your coat also. That verse means not to get beaten up but to defend yourself. That's it. Don't go, oh, I'm going to take revenge on that person because they did me wrong. No! Jesus said to turn the other cheek, meaning to forget about it. Forget about it. Don't get it twisted. <clears throat> Continuing. Give to every man that asks of thee, and of him that takes away your goods, ask them not again. And as you would that men should do to you, do you also to them likewise. For if you love them that which love you, 
What have what then have ye? For sinners also love those who love them. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thank have you? For sinners also love them, those that love them. For sinners also do even the same. And if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive, what thank of ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies. Love your enemies. And do good to le and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great. And you shall be children of the highest. For he is kind unto... For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, 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 and you shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Shall men give into your bosom, for with the same measure that you use, it shall be measured, it shall be measured to you, to you again. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. We have to be born again. Repent. Amen. Repent. Your pastor is not preaching about repentance. Your pastor is not preaching about hell. What does the Bible say? What did Jesus preach on over and over again? Repentance. You say, oh, preacher, preacher. What's repentance? I never heard that in my life. Oh, repentance means to turn away from sin, to turn away from homosexuality, to turn away from lust, to turn away from pride, to turn away from love of money. Always worrying about that, those, those, that coin. No, 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 no. What good is money? 